Good afternoon. Welcome to the regularly scheduled meeting of the Community Development and Regulatory Services Committee for today, February 3rd. I've been joined by Council Members Cano, Quincy, Fry, and Reich, which is a quorum of our committee. I apologize if anyone has been waiting a half an hour. Uh, we had to make an adjustment to the time due to a meeting that all of the council members were at and running back from. Uh, so I apologize if anyone's been inconvenienced by the delay. Uh, we have a number of items on our consent agenda this morning. Um, items four through 13, they include our regular license applications, which have been recommended for approval. I'll note that there's an amended item four in front of us to change, uh, to add, um, one legal entity for another. Um, Mr. Wilson, do you want to comment on that? Thank you, Madam Chair. We do have an on-sale liquor license that did not um, make the, uh, the printed agenda, and it's for a new uh, proprietor at an on-sale liquor establishment at 901 West Lake Street. The applicant is Tinto Kachina and Katina LLC, and staff um, is recommending that that be added, and the recommendation is to approve that license. Okay, so we have the regular license applications in item four, a number of rental dwelling license reinstatements in five and six, um, authorize an extension of the existing Tubman Center West loans, uh, an MFIP contract with Hennepin County, some changes that all, allowing our staff to uh, do various things to utilize our tax exempt revenue bond financing, accepting money from MHFA, a contract with the Minnesota Home Ownership Center, uh, a referral to staff, and uh, to put out the RFP for our HOPWA money, which is over a million dollars. I'm gonna move the consent agenda um, as amended. Well, let's see, I'll amend the item number four and move the entire consent agenda items four through 13. Are there any items anyone would like to pull off? Seeing none on the motion to approve the consent agenda, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Those items are approved. We'll move on then to item number one, which is our land sale. Casey, welcome. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Uh, before you today is a, a request to approve the land sale for 3354 Penn Avenue North uh, to New Horizon Real Estate Development, which is a subsidiary of New Horizon Academy, um, as well as to authorize the city to enter into a redevelopment contract uh, to construct a three-story, 14,000 square foot child care facility. Uh, New Horizon is a private Minnesota-based organization that runs over 60 centers across the state and serves over 7,500 children a day. Um, they've recently partnered with the Northside Achievement Zone to focus on providing uh, care for families within a 13 by 18 block area of North Minneapolis. Um, staff have been working with the organization for over a year to try to find a site. And this one was by far the best location given the, it was in the NAS zone, it's on a bus line, it's next to elementary school, it's really ideal. So the uh, fair reuse value based on a recent appraisal was $59,000. So that's the offer price. Um, there may be a, that may be, the net proceeds may re be reduced uh, for soil allowance based on city policy because the, uh, there's over $500,000 of uh, cleanup costs. The site was a gas station. Um, until 2009, the city purchased it in 2010. So that soil escrow will cover that some of that excess cost. So there's a representative here, Jill Dunkley from the organization and we can answer any questions you have. Are there any questions for Casey on item number one? Council Member Fry. Thank you, Madam Chair. So it's uh, up to $500,000 in soil costs. We're selling it for 59,000. Some of the 59,000 59, may be uh, depreciated based on that 500. And are we right. to assume so the, it's just gonna be $0 at the end of the day? Correct, that could be. So the proceeds go into an escrow account and then to the extent that their soil costs in excess of the grant amount, we can submit a letter to the CPED director to request that some of those funds be used to pay for additional cleanup costs. Thank so the, the maximum that it could be written down is to a dollar. Got it. At the same price. Are there any other questions for staff? Seeing none, thank you for your report. This is a public hearing on item number one, which is a land sale at 3354 Penn Avenue North and authorizing a redevelopment contract and related documents. Is there anyone here to speak to this issue? Anyone? Anyone? Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing and move approval of item number one. Comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, that item is approved. We'll move on to item number two, which is land sale 2001 Washington Street Northeast. Madam Chair, committee members, um, 
This is a land sale for 2001 Washington Street Northeast to Brandon Rawl for $250,000. There is a price change which was negotiated with Mr. Brawl. Um, the report originally said 244, it is now 250. Um, this home is a home that was rehabilitated under the Home Ownership Works Program. Um, it's been fully rehabilitated. It was estimated at the beginning of rehabilitation that the home would sell for approximately $195,000, which was within the federal guidelines for the home funded program. At the completion of rehabilitation of the home when we were getting ready to, to advertise it, we had an independent appraisal done on the property and the appraisal came back at $244,000. Um, we consulted with HUD and it was determined that the home because of the sale price is not eligible under the home program. Therefore, we have advertised this property without any home restrictions and received this offer from this individual who will be the owner occupant of this home. Um, the uh, <clears throat> Holland neighborhood originally put about $200,000 into the acquisition of this home because this is a property they felt was a high priority that they wanted to have treated. The city has a responsibility to repay the home dollars that have been put into this home. We have put about $158,000 into the home, which will be repaid out of the land sale proceeds. Any remaining proceeds will be returned to the neighborhood's NRP fund. The staff is recommending the sale of this property to um, Brandon Rall. Are there any questions? For Ms. Oates on item number two. Seeing none, thank you for your report. I'll open the public hearing on item number two, which is a land sale at 2001 Washington Street Northeast, and just to clarify, for $250,000. Is there anyone here to speak to this issue? Anyone? Anyone? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing and I'll move approval of the staff recommendation. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? That item is approved. We'll then move on to item number three, Eat Street Social Club. Mr. Wilson. Thank you, Madam Chair. We have an application by the Eat Streets um, Social. It's a restaurant at 18 West 26th Street. They currently have an on-sale liquor license Class C1, and they would like to upgrade that to a Class B license, which would allow um, unlimited number of musicians, dancing, DJs, things like that. Um, their hours of operation do not intend to change, and that's from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. daily. Um, they have seating for 154 persons. Um, we have not had any issues with their um, restaurant or entertainment operations in the past. They plan to continue being a full service restaurant. Um, this upgrade does require a, a public hearing, so we mailed notices to all residents and property owners within 600 feet of this establishment. We also notified the Whittier Alliance and Whittier Business Associations. Um, we had this on our website as well. We received no responses for or against this application. Um, staff's recommendation is to approve. Okay. Are there any questions for item number three, the staff recommendation to approve? Seeing none, we'll open the public hearing on item number three, which is a license upgrade for the Eat Street Social Club. Is there anyone here to speak to this issue? Anyone? Anyone? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. Council Member Fry. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move approval of this item. Approval of item number three has been moved. Further comments, questions? Seeing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? That item is approved. We'll then move on to our last item, which is item number four. Uh, this is a presentation on our Great Streets Facade Improvement Program and the administrative contracts. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and committee members. Um, Judy Moses with the CPED Business Development. Um, you have before you my report um, for that recommends funding 330,000 in Great Street Facade Improvement Matching Grant contracts to eight community-based organizations who will administer the program in neighborhood business districts throughout the city. The Great Streets Facade Improvement Grant Program continues to grow in recognition as an important element of the Great Streets Program. In 2014, the program provided $380,000 to 134 commercial facade projects that leveraged almost 945,000 in private matching funds. Over the program's seven year history, grant administrators have assisted a total of 533 facade improvement projects worth over $5.1 million in total property investment. 
The most obvious public benefit of the program is the visual transformation of our commercial areas, but it also provides additional benefits to the business districts by supporting business recruitment efforts, building organizational capacity, and securing high quality improvements. CPED issued the eighth facade improvement program RFP on October 3rd of 2014 with the proposals due on um, November 12th. We received nine proposals requesting a total of 430,000 and recommend funding eight of the organizations for a total contract amount of 330,000. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Are there any questions for Ms. Moses? So I'll note, um, and we've been doing this for a really long time, the one that's the most notable to me is the one at 1851 Central. We could go through the history of that project and that building and how much drama there's been surrounding it, but boy, that is a massive improvement. Um, I, I remember when this building was built like it was yesterday. Were you on the council then? No, that must have been Ostro's problem. Madam Chair, I was uh, an antagonist on the other side of the Diaz. So you would agree with me. This is a, I mean, I don't want to get into the whole history of this, only to say, boy, did this finally turn out good. Um, I think the um, it's proof that um, improving a facade can change the entire look mm -hmm. of an area and maybe in some ways heal old, heal old wounds as well. Council Member Reich. Uh, Madam President, to your previous comments regarding that property, uh, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so thank you for bringing this forward to us. It's proof that these organizations and neighborhoods, both CDCs and nonprofits, can run these programs fairly effectively and leverage a good amount of private money um, into these projects. I mean, we're not doing this for facades downtown. We're doing it on commercial quarters. I think it's been very successful, and uh, I think you have the support of members on the council to continue and hopefully add a little bit more money to this project in the years to come. So thank you for your report. Any other comments or questions on item number 14? Seeing none, I'll move approval of the staff recommendation. Thank them for their work. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That item is approved. Mr. Lutz, is there any business in front of us? Any additional business in front of us? Seeing none from the boss, we are adjourned. <laughs>